Thanks for joining me again on Carpathian Countryside for episode number eight with me, Mr. Sealy P. We've made it through to September. It's time to replant, as you've just seen. Uh, I did pick up a potato contract because it, it came up. It was 44 grand, I think it was, and I thought I cannot not do that. It has left me with another 68,000 litres of potatoes, so we've got about 130,000 litres sitting over there now. But we're into September, I'm into planting, and I'm putting wheat in. I'm going to do the wheat. And now, because of the way I'm doing this, I'm, I'm skipping through. I'm going to talk about that when we do our third harvest. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to plant, or seed. I've got the two seeders here, which are 4.5 or 4.8 metres each. I'm going to lease... A larger seeder, another direct drill because I've got weeds in the field again. Um, because I've got the larger tractor, we've got the uh, K700, so I'm going to probably have all three running. I've got a little bit of seed here, but I have purchased two more bags up at the store, so I'll fill up the other seeder with that. Um, so yeah, I'll get these two running. Yeah, I will do. Um, I took, I did that baling contract. Where, oh, where's my bales? Around it. I took that baling contract. That I was saying I, I can't remember if I uh, saved the screenshot or not. But um, we're looking pretty healthy now for our bales, and I'm not going to have to worry at all. So those straw bales we took about field 195 there, there. Uh, round bales hay at 4,500 litres. So yeah, silage bales, round bale silage 7,000 7,500 litres, 53. Round bale silage 7,500 litre 18. I don't know why those haven't combined. And then round bale silage 5,500 litre 68. So we've got a load of silage, we've got a load of hay, we've got a load of straw. So we are set now. All the prep work done, doing baling contracts and baling the straw off of our field means that whatever I decide to do moving forward, I have got those resources. If I want to do cows, I can. If I want to do pigs, I've got straw for bedding. I can I can pick and choose. So happy as Larry with that. Um, I did finish mulching our field, and I did I did lime it. I, I said I wasn't sure if I was going to or not. Uh, the lime I had here, sorry, just to show you, the lime. Oh, I didn't put that away actually. Yeah, but our lime spreader. Uh, the lime we had here, I had four or five. As I was saying before, farm dog started barking. Mrs. Silly P's at work in London today, not at home. So he's barking at everything because he's trying to protect me, which is lovely, but you know. So yeah, I had three or four boxes of lime left from the last liming we did. And I think I ended up using, I want to say about 9,000 litres I think we used. So I've got 300, 358 litres left in my lime spreader. So yeah, we're out of lime now. But So the field is good to go. What I'm going to do then, we're going to put wheat in the ground I'm then going to, I'll fertilise it, and then I'll oh, we'll have to roll it as well, won't we? I've got a bit of work to do now, haven't I? Just off the back of a bank holiday weekend, I had a, bit, a nice nice surprise this weekend, it was really cool. Um, I'd had got both my videos I posted, was ready to go, and I was doing a bit of prep work. And um, my brother messaged me, out of the blue, Sunday morning, said, look, we're doing a roast this, uh, this afternoon. Nobody's working, everyone's at home. He works night work, permanent night work, and he, he was off as well. So he said, trying to come out for a roast and staying over, and because it was a bank holiday weekend, so you know what, that'd be brilliant. So I went and see my brother, which is great. I don't see him as often as I'd like to, and it was fantastic. Oh, I sold my motorbike, and I, and I think, did I put it on the video last time? I worked out why. I had my motorbike here, and the actual trigger point is in front of the garage doors, which I should have realised. But um, we sorted it out, so I don't want that, I want that. I'm going to lease, um, needs to be a direct drill, I've got a couple of extras thrown in here, I was thinking about maybe the Pronto, the Pronto's not bad because at 9 metres wide it's only under 104 grand, requires 207 horsepower, direct drill, pretty handy, uh, I looked at the Kvernon but that's um, not a direct drill so I, I've kind of stepped away from that, the 12 metre which is pretty good but then I sort of found these, there's a couple of um, rapid A800s but this particular set, was it DS Power? I can't remember who it's by now. Um, you've got a standard one, or you've got a multi fruit. So you could buy that and do multi fruit, being direct drill as well. But anyway, so I thought that one, 240 horsepower required, direct drill, 
The difference between the two, why I picked this over the other one, this runs at 11 miles an hour, that one runs at 9. So I thought, extra couple of miles an hour, we'll get it done a little bit faster, probably. Um, I don't necessarily need any extra bits and bobs, wheel chocks, work lights, anything like that. A little bit lower horsepower required as well, so I'm going to lease that. It's a little bit more expensive to lease, but I'm just thinking if we can end up getting way more wheat. I know all I keep going about is this. But again, I'm, I'm on this thing that because people had said they wanted to see more old school, just the farming, you know, just... They don't want to see loads of production changes and I'm, I'm talking about a few people so like i said i'm just this is a test right from the start this was all going to be a test and i was curious to find out what would happen and my first wheat harvest was 280,000 litres 288 whatever it was um but i missed the planting window so second harvest i put oats in the ground so i'm skipping between harvests which is old school fs if you go back to the previous versions of the game we didn't have those long periods like more realistic growth cycles unless you did seasons so with the base game seasons now and then they'll see the the seasonal planting version as well whichever one you do you've still got months of growth time whereas prior to that you could plant the crop 24 hours later it'd be ready to harvest sometimes 48 but you know it'll be ready to go so whereas going through years in game you could I mean, you could simulate going through years in game in four or five days you know you could really go through it um so people were saying you know they wanted to see more of that not necessarily all the in-between stuff padding out with finding jobs to do they didn't necessarily want to see just production change just um pallets being made and spawned and that kind of stuff they wanted to go a little bit more back to the you know the cycle of plant prep grow harvest you know so by the time i get to the next harvest cycle there'll be three harvests two full years in game and i'm curious to see how people feel about that i'm already getting a feel from it a feel of it from comments that have been made we're set on weeks and should be good to go of the other side of of people the other selection group of people saying um, but you're missing out so much you're skipping ahead and you're missing being able to do this this and this you're missing out doing um, you know like I said contract work that's what that's what I do I love doing contract work but a lot of people were that's all you ever seem to do now every day play you do is contract work so can you avoid doing so much contract work so I've done the odd one here and there and the ones that I've done I've kind of done off camera if, if people don't want to see that that's fine but I'm curious because I know I know my own feeling and I said in that other episode I don't like this and I still don't I prefer the much richer broader even if I'm doing contracts I'm having a go at loads of different crop types using loads of different machinery doing cultivating doing fertilizing doing planting or seeding doing multiple harvests within a year it's a lot of time put in and you can be 10 15 episodes down the line and and you haven't even come out of the first year yet so i can see both sides you know it's going to be interesting because i think after this harvest and we move into the next one we're going to be into year three which i think i only did on silver run or did i end up doing two years on silver run and that was only because it took time to build the roller coaster so normally i don't get this kind of far through but we're only on episode uh -oh. Yeah, something like episode 8. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to plant this, we're going to fertilise it, we're going to roll it, and then we're going to skip ahead to harvest. I might buy, like I said, I might buy a fourth harvester and run four. I'm going to run three seeders this time. This one will run a little bit faster. I'll get the other two running and I'll probably go around the outsides with this. This I can go a little bit faster and it's a little bit wider in one hit. And then I might look at, because we've got some potatoes, we've got stuff to do cows, if we want to do cows, I can then potentially, next harvest round, if we make enough money and we get enough crop off the wheat, we can pay off the loan completely. So with the loan completely done, we don't have to focus on that anymore. We can focus on, let's invest money in the farm, let's buy more land, let's, you know, and we can then diversify more. But I wanted to give it a fair shot. I wanted to give people a chance to say, you know what, 
not not to say just stop people complaining but because people are saying you don't do that anymore to then say well but i have done it now you know i, I have had a go i have given it a try i know how i feel about it it's not my style of gameplay it's not what i normally do but i've tried it you know i, I can't be any fairer than that i suppose so anyway pinching off because i know how thirsty that machine is <clears throat> let's go and grab the other tractors the other two cedars get them set to wheat i'll get them running up and down and i'll go around the outside and we'll get this planted and then i'll get it fertilized and and rolled i've got my roller we've still got some liquid fertilizer in that tank on the side it's a small sprayer but we'll get it done i am building up more machinery as well which is you know moving forward with with any farm any scenario any situation you find yourself in when you take on a new farm yes there was a fair bit of gear here but we are getting a more rounded complement of equipment now i do still need to buy probably a larger trailer i think when we get around to harvest i'm going to look at a larger trailer probably to go with the lorry i did i did say that didn't i uh, let's switch that from no not big because i'm going to do that there we go we're on to wheat I filled these up at the end of the last harvest, if you remember, we did have some seed left over, so I topped them up off the trailer, so I knew that when we got into the next planting, we were good to go. See you in a little bit when I'm cracking on with this. I think because I've been away for, I say a couple of days, I suppose, I still posted the video Sunday, but... I was away then Sunday and then yesterday, there were no mods or anything yesterday, it was bank holiday in the UK, I was doing stuff with my family. I felt like I'd been away from my, my you know, from my desk for a while. So I'm, I'm sorry if I'm overly, overly chatty, I'm just feeling a little bit chatty. Right, let's go in. Maybe. It's funny, I was talking about in the last episode my uh, that kind of slightly OCD, slightly, that slightly OCD thing. I, I just have to know. I, I couldn't have left it having done the oats and found that it yielded really, really well, way better than I thought it was going to. I thought I, I, I have to do the wheat. I have to know. I, I can't. I can't let it go. I, I know. I don't know why. I just, I just can't. I have to find out. And since we're doing. Had I been playing the game how I normally do it, I probably wouldn't have bothered because I would have moved on, done a different crop, added something else in here. We would have done loads of contract work. I would have probably already by now have bought much bigger machinery. I mean, to be fair, we've got some bigger machinery. I'm going to get a larger trailer. I'm, I was looking at getting a cultivator. We're doing cultivating jobs. But again, because I'm not doing contracts really at the moment on here, it didn't seem a lot of point. It's the only problem with the articulated tractor. I don't get the sweep just right. I also need to make sure the tractor turns the right way at the other end. Not this one, but the other ones. Get this all straightened up later on, it's not a lot of problem. Yeah, I'm running at 11 miles an hour. Oh, that doesn't seem like much, but it does make a difference. Which way is it going? The wrong way. I'll let him do one strip back down the other way and I'll correct him for the next one. And then I'll do the same thing around the uh, telegraph pole. The thing is as well, doing it this way, because I don't own any more fields yet, and in the old way of playing the game, because you could do a field and within 24 hours you could do it again and you replant and do it again very quickly, you could build up a bit of money to buy your next field. Doing it this way, because we're going to be th the th into our third year in game, it also, because I've had to skip ahead, it feels like it's taken a lot longer to get to this point. It's weird how your mind works. That you, you, My mind's already saying, but it's taking you ages to get to here. I mean, I suppose realistically it hasn't, but there has been a few bits and bobs I've done in between. Now, I've done some contracts, and some of the jobs I have done, well, that's what I was saying. I was talking to my brother about the time taken. He was asking me about my videos, and, and I was saying about the time taken in between each video depending i know the guys on my discord have mentioned it before and said about it's why we did um Ballam road on the multiplayer server because they'd said you know because i often say how many hours it takes me between episodes especially if i'm doing a job 
on large fields with small sh machinery, it takes a while. So they'd said that we can, we, we'll jump on and help you off camera. We can do a load of work. You know, if you've got other things to do, we can get a load of stuff done. Actually, you know what? I might let them both go that way this time. They can both work that way towards each other. Then I'll leapfrog the other way. Might as well. It doesn't hurt, does it? Um, so yeah, I'm not complaining about the time it takes. You know, um, and people have offered to help me, and that's very kind and very nice. And that's what I was saying to him. I said, you know, it's it's a weird thing that. You know, I can finish an episode and, and post it, edit it, post it. But I then know I've got another four hours of stuff to do before I can start recording the next episode along. And I, and I love it because I get to play the game. And he was talking about sponsors and he was talking about channels that he used to watch that he doesn't watch anymore. Um, when people start getting sponsored and he said it's fine if, if there's something like, you know, engineering channels and people that on their channel they use a particular product all the time um, and or they use a particular piece of machinery or piece of equipment and they talk about it and they use it and they sing its praises and it's amazing then that company reaches out and says we want to sponsor you or we want to send you some of our more modern gear or some of our new stuff you see a lot of the, far the farming guys when they're using stuff and, the and they'll get trials of equipment or they'll get a few hours on something to give it a go because you know the company wants you to buy their products they want you to try it out and hopefully you're going to buy more of their stuff and I love that, but what he was saying was, it's when you get people's channels where they start them plugging stuff, saying, I've been using this for years, I, and you think, but have you though? You know, it's, it's, it's weird, you know, you can watch a person's channel for years and years and years, and you've never seen them mention it, use it. I mean, they might use this, these things off camera all the time, you don't know. But sometimes it just seems a little bit, mm, and I was saying about Audible, you know, I said weirdly, of late, I've been saying about the hours it takes me to do stuff off camera. And I've been talking about on camera how um, I've been listening to audiobooks a lot. And I've gone through, oh man, I mean, the last few books I've gone through, um, like I said, I, I like the uh, Dan Abnett stuff. I like uh, Games Workshop, Warhammer 40k, all those kind of, I like sci-fi, fantasy, all that kind of stuff. So I've been going through the Gaunt's Ghosts novels, of which I own the paperback copies of, and I've read all of them. And I thought, while I'm doing stuff like this, I'd like to listen to more again from the start. And I've, I've gone through from book one to book ten. Each one can be ten hours long, and I've, I'm absolutely steaming through them, which is brilliant. But here's the weird thing. I, I, have I mentioned this already? I don't know, because I talked about it the weekend. I can't remember whether I mentioned it or not. I got to book ten... And on Audible, 11 and 12 aren't available. And then it goes 13, 14, 15, 16. But you can't get book 11 and 12, which is... I, I thought, how bizarre that you can get up, all the way up to book 10. Why would you then not have the next two narrated, but then skip to book 13? It was a bit odd. Anyway, so yeah, I've been... I've been, you know, I've been doing that. Don't know what I'm talking about out loud. Um, I think as well what I'm going to do, this, I was thinking maybe this episode will be the seed in the fertilising, the rolling. I um, think I'm going to do a bit of a, this is going to be a more of a kind of montage episode. I'm chatting while I'm doing this because obviously I've got a different seed that I'm using. I thought I'd show me using this. But um, I think we'll then jump ahead probably to the harvest. And we'll, we'll bang through the harvest because I want by the end of this episode to find out how we did. Because I'm obsessed to find out how we did <laughs> <laughs> it has become a mild obsession of mine, as you might be able to tell. So I'll probably have to do a couple of laps. We'll see when we get round, see how close they've got to the end. I think it's more the other end. There's more of a runoff this end, so we might be all right. But the other end is where they're turning around quite short. So I'll, see, I'll better work out how many rounds I need to do. So. Yeah. And obviously I have to spray, we'll get weeds come out of the ground as well. So not only will I have to do the uh, fertilising once the crop's in the ground, because then it will work out what fertiliser it needs for the crop, I will then need to roll it, and then obviously probably the next two days or so, which will be about a month, we'll get our weeds come through and I'll need to weed it. Um, I'm probably going to do what I did last time, I'm going to lease that precision farming weeder, the spot sprayer, because that worked brilliantly, and we didn't actually use that much herbicide, so... I'll probably do that. Again, slight little clips of it probably would make sense. Not that, you know, I'm saying I, I, will, I will be doing those steps because it will get done. Um, but just to show that I have.
the weeds have arrived, of course they have. Um, this time round, I've leased the same thing I did from the same pack. I'll, I'll say it again, details of mods I use are in the description. Um, but this is the, um, uh, oh, something or other. Precision farming, it's a precision farming mod. But I've got the front tank this time as well, because last time I did it, I used more than just the rear tank would hold, the 1,200 litres. So I've got the front tank on it as well this time. So I thought, you know, it's still not the massive, massive one. I did have one come up as an option to um, buy cheap with a much bigger boom, but it was the standard version, not the precision farming version. When I added that on, it added another 39 grand on, so it really didn't work out much cheaper. So anyway, I'll get the weeding done, and then I'll probably see you around at harvest time, I think. For you, mere moments, for me, nearly an entire year has gone by. Uh, we're back to July. I did the um, weeding, as you've seen, or herbiciding. Well, we're still weeding, we got rid of the weeds. And our wheat field is ready to harvest. So this is the final part of my test for my own sanity. I just had to know, as you already know. Right, the harvesters have gone out of the field. They are out here, they're lined up, they are good to go. I'm going to be taking my trailers, two of them, and selling them and buying a larger trailer to go with the lorry. I'm also, I'm getting a fourth harvester. Yep, I'm going to do it. I was, I was, I'm in an hour about it. I've had a look around at some of the options and there are some of the class dominator packs, ones that I've used before. There's the um, case I've mentioned as well that I've used before on various different Let's Plays and I've, I've been kind of... Yeah, kind of um and ah in deciding what to do. I'm going to leave one of those that I can use for transporting uh, bales, um, bales, what's the word I want to say? Uh, pallets and bags and stuff. My seeding, I meant to say actually, when I did the weeding bit, I just did a little clip rather than sort of talking about it. I bought way too much seed. I bought another two bags because when I first started out, and that's the problem with variable seeding, and when it goes across a field and you've got different soil types across the field, when I first started out on one side of the field, it was one soil type, and it was planting very heavy on seed. I'm thinking, okay, at this rate, we're going to get through it, and I'm going to need to buy more. So I bought some more. Um, and then as it moved over, and it got into the different soil types, and it was using less and less, that's what came out of the seeder, uh, 1,400, and then this was all that I had left. Yeah, I bought way too much. Well, it doesn't matter, it's there now again for the next time I need to do seeding. So, that thing, I love it to bits, don't get me wrong. That K700 is awesome, but blimey does it get through fuel. That nearly was nearly empty again, so that, I've just had to refill that. So, so, another piece of equipment, so something new. A new trailer, which will make life a little bit easier. I'm going for... I'm trying to think now. Can I use it on... Oh, I might have used it on Silver Run initially. I just thought it f would fit on here quite nicely, but I'm not sure if it would even take the stuff I need to. I think I've got straw swath off, because I don't need the straw swath. As I said last year, when we did our harvest. So again, going back to what I said about, in the old days, back in the day, um, this would have been... 24 hours. I would have I would have planted this, and with that accelerated crop growth we used to have in game, it would have been a day later or two days later. And look, my crop's ready to go. But like I say, I've skipped through nearly an entire year because we um, we put our crop down in is it August or September. We put the crop down in because the the planting and um, harvesting periods are very close together on here. So with the fourth harvester. These came in at, each one was 50 something grand with the header, wasn't it? I said 54 grand. Each header is five meters wide. So realistically, even having four of them, I'm looking at 220 grand with 20 meters worth of header width combined. I'm employing four people. So I think, yes, I don't want to change note, hang on, I didn't do the, uh, Straw swath on this one, do I? No. No, not indicate. Dista disstable? 
destable, destable government, disable header. There we go. There we go. I want all of these ones, and they get sent to filters home. Right. I'm gonna go and get the fourth one and go and grab the uh, trailer. I'll see over at the store in a moment. Or I might see you back here in a moment. Actually, these ones cost me four thousand five hundred each. I'm not gonna make much money on. Um, but the head, of the, the head of the trailer I'm buying is thirty-eight. I want to say thirty-eight grand. Thirty-eight grand for forty-eight thousand liters, which kind of looking around at. I always kind of look for best buy, you know that. Um, most bang for your buck. So I kind of look for the biggest capacity for the least amount of money. And again, there are a few different modded ones, especially a lot of the modded ones now that have got unrealistic capacities and stuff like that. I haven't gone for one of those. It's, it's, it's a genuine. A genuine trailer combined with my three small trailers i've got 33,000 litre capacity i haven't gone up by much in all honesty but 48,000 litres that's a big enough jump that i won't have to do as many runs backwards and forwards that's it there are a few other modded ones knocking about where i can get 80 or 90,000 litres and some up around the 100,000 litre mark which are still technically at that point realistic but they are much bigger trailers and they're a lot more expensive so you know I'm, we'll go for that so the test then as you know i've been saying it a lot by now 280 288 000 litres whatever it was of wheat was the first harvest i did on the field i had nothing done to it i've now done everything to it that can be done to it i should get the maximum yield possible we've nearly got a full grain tank already brilliant. and i suppose when you think about it each harvester is 5,100 litres, so technically, combined, four of them, that's uh, 20,400 litres. So, yeah, would it be easier to have one harvester? Yes. But again, I'd only be employing one person then, so we're employing four. Uh, I'll see you in a minute, I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to buy another one of the harvesters. You saw me in whichever episode it was, purchasing um, one of the harvesters so you, you know what they look like i've got three already i'm just gonna get another one i might get a different color i might go a bit zany and just say you know what let's get a different color all together I, I probably won't. as you can see i've gone for a slightly different color i think combined the trailer and the harvester and header came in at about eighty nine thousand. can't odds that really for a, for a trailer although <laughs> i worked out i don't know why it didn't dawn on me actually um, didn't see, I didn't see anyone put it in the comments, but they might have done. The, the head, the um, auger pipe on these, the collision that seems to be there, it's because under the options, there's a choice to have um, like a, you know, like you can get like the rubber extension bits on the top of the auger pipe, or the end of the auger pipe. And on the newer ones, you've got the ones that are adjustable, the nozzle bit on it. Some of them, it's just like a, a bit of rubber or a bit of, People sometimes use a bit of sacking or something just to keep it going in the right direction, especially if it's windy. Um, it has the option to have one of those. Well, I take that option off, but I'm assuming the collision for it stays. So even if you remove it so it's not visual, it's still there. The problem I've got is all three harvesters <laughs> have filled up and haven't reached the end of the field yet. So I can't get my lorry in with my trailer unless I bring the harvester all the way back down the road it's just done to unload so what I'm going to do I'm going to run this harvester my spare up behind them and what's also interesting again with this with the soil types and the precision farming is that the first two got further than the third one so the actual yield coming off of the field further over is better than the yield here because it filled up far quicker a little bit further over I'll be interested to see whether this one gets to exactly the same distance as the other one before it fills up and stops. And then what I'll do is I'll move this one backwards and out the way behind it. I can drive my lorry up, I'll unload both, then I'll take the harvest out the end and we'll go down and we'll join up with one of the other ones and I'll, then I'll, once I've freed up a bit of space for each one, I can unload them normally as we, uh, as we go forward. So yes, four harvesters in the field and the new trailer. It is truly a day of days, momentous. Well, I think it's. On the scale of things, it probably isn't. 
But again, like I said in the earlier episodes, it's interesting because for me, when I've got to a point, usually on a let's play when I'm running four harvesters, it's when I've got to a point I've got so much money and I'm making so much money and I own so many fields and it's taking a long time to harvest, I've got four big harvesters with four big headers and you're clearing fields rapidly. We are clearing this field a lot quicker than the first time we did it. That being said, there's still small harvesters. So it's an interesting, I say, so it's a completely different dynamic that I'm, what I'm kind of working with. It does bode well as well that if we haven't even done one full row and each harvest is full. So by the time this one gets up there, that's four single rows, 20,000 litres already. We shall see. So having already said about the collision of the um, the pipes, I bought this trailer, I hooked it up to the lorry and suddenly realised just how high off the ground this is. I'm not sure whether the pipes are going to be able to reach into it. They might be able to but not without hitting the side of it, so it might be a bit unsightly. But again, yield wise, weirdly, this first row that I'm in now was the first harvest that ran up and it stopped newest one that I bought and started the second row so we could drive up and we could get next to the harvesters went even further and they're right next to each other weird see I'm just looking at the pipes now thinking I might have to do a bit of moving around, yeah that's not going to go is it at all that's weird maybe it needs to be the back end of it, I think it does, does it angle backwards a little bit? Oh, no, I might have not. Again, going for a cheap alternative, going for something that would be a bit more cost effective may not actually work out in the long run. I'm just thinking, if I can come from the back, the pipe way a second. wheel. It's definitely low at the back. Yeah, like I say, it's not perfect. We can get it to work. I guess this is another reason, a, a, a con of having smaller harvesters, but more of them. The bigger harvesters and the more modern harvesters, the pipes are angled more upwards so you can get them in over higher sided vehicles. So I guess, looking at it from that perspective, it could be argued, probably would be argued, that that would be a better a better option, wouldn't it? Right, so this is my, this is the newer harvester, isn't it? So that's going to run up, and this is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to do the headlands, and I'm going to use for to, to get into the other harvesters, which is going to be a little bit of a game, but we'll get to them. Audio book time.
I worked out a better system. <laughs> Once I'd cleared enough space, if I back up just so that the pipe just goes over the lip, like that, that the um, pipes don't get caught. So when you've got your workers going, um, they can, the pipe will then fold down, the harvester can carry on, and it doesn't get caught up on the trailer. It's a bit of a faff, and I think we'll probably have to get to a point we are going to have to buy some bigger trailers. It's just one of those things. And unfortunately, because of the four harvesters and their small capacities, the speed at which they fill up, I seem to be having more downtime, so having four isn't actually gaining me. I'm not getting the harvest done any quicker, which is a weird one. It's 11.28, <laughs> and as I was saying earlier, I, it doesn't make, honestly, it well, I say it does make sense, I suppose. Um, four harvesters, the problem was, I had a lot of downtime on them, um, because they were filling up so fast. If they, if they were smaller harvesters with a larger capacity, my job's probably want to know because even then it would have taken longer to unload each one i probably still would have had some downtime it's 11 29 and we started at just after eight o'clock then it was five past eight something like the first harvest to set off but then i did spend a lot of time mucking around when i did those first rows um because i didn't want to drive over the crops now whether you have crop destruction on or off is up to you i generally have it off but i still don't like to drive over the crops yeah, so it, it depends, how, you know, how you look at it. I guess most people would probably just drive through the crop and it, they, it wouldn't matter too much to them, but I wanted to make sure I kind of, I cleared out as I went. So, yeah, there was, there was a fair bit of downtime. So, weirdly, it's taken me three and a half hours. What? How has that happened? <laughs> Am I in some weird temporal 
I don't know what it is. Anyway, this field's going to need to be mulched again. Um, and then prepped, ready for the next. Now, I'm thinking next time round, because it's a big field, I might split it in two. So I might do a crop in half fit, a crop in half fit. I might not. It depends. What's going to happen now will dictate what happens next, which is often the case with most of life, isn't it? Cause and effect. Um, I... Now, this is absolutely no word of a lie. I have not checked the, the silo at the railroad. I have no idea how much we've got. It um, has been suggested by a few people that... I mean, I've, I've kind of always done this. When I'm in need of funds, and I'm, I'm sitting on 423,000, so people are like, well, how can you be in need of funds? Well, I've got to pay off the rest of the loan. I've got 190 grand to pay off, because I paid 10 grand more than I meant to last time, but it doesn't matter, it's not the end of the world. And I'm looking at looking to buy another field, and they're not cheap on the map. Um, and we're going to need to look at, are we going to upgrade machinery now? Do I look at, if we do all right, do I buy a bigger harvester? Do I sacrifice two harvesters for one larger one? Maybe one that's faster or with a larger capacity, or, you know. So I've got to start looking at what I do next. So whilst I'm sitting on a fair bit of money, so people have been saying, well, what you should do is keep hold of your crop, because selling it now, straight after harvest, it's not worth as much. Um, you should keep hold of it until it's worth the maximum amount. And I think, yeah, in an ideal world, if... And the thing is, it depends what I decide to do. Because I'm now thinking as well, after this harvest is in, and this, this is my, this is, like I said, this is my test done. I have skipped through, we're on in our third year of work whilst it's only two years have passed because we've gone from august through we started in one year went into the second year did the second harvest we've gone into our third year whilst it's still actually just over two years elapsed or just under two years elapsed we're in our third year if that makes sense um so now i'm thinking right gloves are off i might just let's see sort of almost another test in in essence of how much can we earn in a year? If I picked up every contract available, and if we go in now and look at what's available, so we've got all those bailing contracts. Now they're going to take time, fertilizing contracts. There's harvesting contracts left, and a few. Um, and obviously as we move through the various different harvests, do I borrow their equipment, do I use my own? You know, if I use my own, it's going to take a while. If I borrowed theirs and used my own, if I upgrade my harvesters, and I'm thinking, do I just hit every contract I can do? It's going to be a lot of hours. It's going to be a lot of work. That bailing contract, field 17, that is an absolute money spinner. The others, you, know, they all, you can all make money, but field 17, wow. I've also been looking at, um, because of the ultimate bailing pack, I can um, use their equipment for, for 2,698, which is fine. I've got my lorry, I've got trailers, I've got bits and bobs. I have been looking at options of is it better off in the long run to lease different equipment so not I haven't got my own yet but lease other equipment which can actually get the job done much faster using less equipment because using the ultimate bailing pack if I run over that field with the mowers that Ted uh, that windrow as they go with a tether behind or with a baler behind which can do silage bales i can run through in one pass and do all the processes that all that equipment takes so whilst i i, I get the money back the two i said to get the money back i get the full amount i am leasing equipment which costs more money to lease but i'm getting it done far faster you know so anyway i'm thinking do i look at that as an option and say okay how much money and that would also give me a gauge of over the last two full years that I've played, how much could I have made if, if I'd have picked up everything I could get my hands on? I probably could have cleared my debt in the first year. Probably. So, should I hang on to the crop and wait for the best price or should I sell it now? I'm going to sell it now. I'm going to come to this door. I'm going to do it again. We're going to hire the train. Now we're going to check because I honestly have no idea how much we've got. So, 431,194 litres. That is certainly better than 288,000, which is what we originally had. So we've gone up by 143,000 litres. 
140, yeah, 140,000 litres more by doing all the work that needed to be done on the field than the first time we got on there when it had some weeds in it, it hadn't been fertilised, it hadn't been limed, it was probably in its worst state. 143,000 litre difference between the two. That's impressive. Now, the thing about it is, I think oats are only, oh, sorry, wheat's only paying at the moment at Selena and the price is going down 1,016. I think the best price ever was, what's it, 1,070 something? Um, so I'm only going to make, only going to make, I'll make just over 430 grand, which is brilliant. I made more than that, um, I was going to say, with oats. So whilst I got less product with oats, which I did, I didn't get 430,000 litres, but it was worth way, way more. So I earned more money. So again, you've got to look at what do you need it for? What, you know, do you need oats for your horses? Do you need wheat for your chickens? Do you need wheat for, your, you know, whatever your processes are you're running or whatever? You know. So I'm going to see you in a second when the train's here. I'm going to load it up, we'll send it off. I'm going to pay off the loan. We will be debt free. Completely debt free. Three in game years in, debt free. Yes, we could have been debt free quicker, but like I said, I want to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being asked a lot by people why am I appeasing people and why am I playing the game differently? Why I'm ex exploring different ways of doing it because when people say like, you know, we'd like to see this, we'd like to see that. Why don't you do this anymore? How? Why have you changed to doing this? Um, and also when people say, you know, you, what you're doing is very, very repetitive now, you're doing the same thing on every Let's Play, you can't stop and say to yourself, okay, fine, so what, what do I change? How do I change it? You know, is there something I could tweak and adjust? And it's worth a try. It's worth giving it a go. It was worth it as a test. It was worth to see, you know, how it kind of played out. Is it more realistic to expect that if I'd come into this farm and it was in debt that's taken me three years or just over two years? actual years but three years to clear that yeah probably than doing it all in the first full year that being said if i decided i was going to come as a contractor and i did every single contract locally for everyone i could you know, for everything i could get my hands on i probably could have cleared the debt in the first year in real life you know i suppose it depends what you're charging when you're contracting but who knows so this phase is done i will sell this we'll clear the debt I've then got to decide, do I buy another field? Uh, let's do that. Let's get the wheat in. While we're doing that, let's look at what is available as crop types, what's growing, what's not growing. So these are nearly ready to go. And they are, is that potatoes? It's not barley, is it? Do -do 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 -do. Do I buy a field with stuff in it? And like I said, I can't afford some of these fields. What's that one? 539 grand. See, I can't, I'm not going to be able to afford a big field. Field 24, 379. I keep looking at like field 26, something like that. Field 5 is grass. I suppose we could do that. Field 4, 306. We'll see what we get paid when we sell all this. We'll pay off the debt and then I can work out from there. Um, but if I am deciding, you know what, let's let's hammer the, the contracts, do a couple of episodes where we're just absolutely monstering through contracts. Now it might be that I'll, I'll lease some equipment. I, I could at this point say, you know what, I could just go mad, you know, and I could get myself the, um, the Colossus Harvester pack. Get myself one Colossus Harvester with a big header, unrealistic speed, unrealistic capacity, and I could monster everything. But it kind of doesn't fit with what I've been doing, you know. It 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 wouldn't feel right. I know it wouldn't. So I wouldn't. That's not something I would do. Um, the same with the sugar beet harvesting. I said I want to do sugar beet. Do I pick up a small field or a smaller field and stick a load of sugar beet in it? Which I could do actually, because the yield on sugar beet is pretty good. So whilst the field would look a lot smaller, or look a lot, it would be a lot smaller. Just make sure I'm over the right carriage. So I've got a lot of things to look at now. I've got a lot of options to decide what I'm going to do. Which I'm not certain. And to be fair, our um, I'm just thinking actually, if we go to that, what's our environmental score is 98. 
So we actually, even though we'll get 430 grand or just over 430 grand for all the wheat we're selling, we should get a pretty good yield bonus um, for our environmental score. Now I said right from the start, I'm not chasing environmental scores. Like that wasn't, I'm, just, I'm not trying to get 100 on my environmental score. And that environmental score will come down as we, um, oh, am I gonna get all this in? I don't think I am. Because this is the last carriage and this won't hold 130,000 litres. So we might have to do another trip. Ew. I wasn't anticipating that. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so the, the actual um, environmental score has just happened because I was direct drilling. Because I've done the, the um, precision farming, I've, I've done the spot spraying for herbiciding. I haven't just sprayed the entire field. I haven't ploughed. Um, I suppose I, I should have done maybe. I don't know. Would that have improved my... It's that thing I've said before. You've got that thing with precision farming that ploughing's bad. But sometimes if your field needs ploughing, it's good. Uh, so I'm not sure. 420. Oh, so we're only going to be short by a little bit, aren't we? Um, yeah, there should only be a little bit left in there. Because we're actually 420,000 litres now. Okay then, let's see what we get. Well, I'm curious, and if you are. <laughs> I hope you are. And then more work needs to be done. So like I say, I don't know, am I going to lease equipment to do contracts? Am I going to buy equipment to do contracts? Am I going to borrow equipment to do contracts and use some of mine? Am I going to do some of the con- I'm going to have to do some of the contracts off screen, because if I decide, oh, let's, let's start hammering contracts out, I can't do them all, I can't film all of them, you know, that would be, yeah, would be a bit bonkers, but. Yep, 426 grand plus 61 grand bonus. That takes us to 480. Seven, 488 grand we're up to 911,000 we've been here before haven't we people so now we need to uh, go to here Not that. let's go down to here let's power the rest of this loan shall we it's a big moment debt free when we got here 500,000 half a million in debt the farm was from this point on every penny we make it's ours. We can do whatever we want with it after that. We've cleared the debt. If I left the farm now and went, I've done my job. I came here to sort the farm out, clear the debt. If someone took it on now, debt free, good to go. We've got 721,000 in the bank. So I've now got to look at choices, look at options and decide what do I do. We have still got a little bit of wheat left. I think there's going to be about 13,000. How, how much was it? That's where I wanted to be. 11,000. 11,000 litres left. Uh, I could leave that in the silo or I could sell it. Um, that would make me another 11 grand, wouldn't it? Uh, we've still got the barley left over and the other contracts as well. I could sell that if I wanted to, if we wanted to boost the money a little bit more. Um, See, so yeah, we've got a lot of decisions to make at this point. Equipment, field, fields and equipment. Um, I guess I need to go back and look at the harvester situation again now. I did. I've, I mean, I have just recently purchased that fourth harvester, but we do need to start looking at upgrading. I mean, I've got a look at the option as well. I did say about what what fits as well. I say what fits. I was looking at a couple of the Rostle mash. And bear in mind that one's a nine thousand liter, which is not quite double one of the or two of the harvesters. That one is definitely more than double, but it's a lot more money. So for 214,000. But then when I'm doing that, I'm looking across it here and thinking, yeah, but look, the twin screw. I haven't used those. Did I have those on Western Wilds? Only 187 grand. And we can go up to a really big capacity on that. So with a slightly larger header, which we can kind of get away with, I could get one of those, which could eradicate all four harvesters and we'd get some money back on the harvesters as well as a kind of we could do it as a prototype harvester you know 
then there's the Colossus, 300 grand, and you know, it's, yeah, you could go bonkers with it, but, or do I go for something more standard, you know? And again, this is what I, I keep saying, it's bang for your buck, isn't it? It's price over capacity, price and speed, price and header size you can get away with, you know, it, it's... All it comes down to, literally, what's your favourite harvester manufacturer, you know? I don't mind what manufacturer it is. You know, I'm kind of looking at best deals. This thing I'm probably going to sell. I, I, I haven't used it. I'm not sure I'm going to use it. But anyway, I'm going back at the lorry. That's, that's where I was heading. So we are episode complete. It's been a weird one. I, I'm trying to think of another time where I have done an episode where I've done a full cycle, where I've done a full everything i mean i suppose we started off the mulching in the last episode but all the prep work so the uh the seeding the spraying the rolling the weeding the harvesting we've gone for a full from september when we started planting right the way through to july in one episode i'm trying to think if i've done that before probably not um and we are better off for it i think i'm gonna buy a field I don't know. We'll see on the next episode, though. Cliffhanger? Not really. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed the kind of the, the, the testing of a sort. You know, it's testing me. It's testing my patience. <laughs> it's just testing what I'm used to. It's, it's changing my look at things. It's, you know, all different things all thrown together. If you have, please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet. Again, I know it sounds beggy, but it's the YouTube thing. Um, if you don't subscribe yet please do if you haven't subscribed yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>